you on now? And so it's, it's, a, it's a fair amount of time ago, but still not very long ago at all. Well, what, what was long? I'll say what was what there is a lasting memory is, I mean, I, I think the most the most powerful human emotion is is humiliation. And there was a couple of moments in my secondary education where I was just outright humiliated for not being able to read properly. And there's one moment where a teacher stood up and we were in English and we were doing Shakespeare. And suddenly, even though we weren't reading aloud uh, and we were just reading the text and talking about the text, the teacher suddenly said, Peter, why don't you just stand up and read this chapter? Uh, and I was so shocked because the teacher would have known full well uh, that I wasn't capable of doing it and asked me to do so. And the teacher was falling about laughing as I was doing it one word at a time with the pause and getting words wrong. Uh, but I remember very well looking around the room and there was a couple of kids who were sniggering, but most of the kids were with me. You know, they were as humiliated as I was. But ever, that was the moment that I just switched off education. I just realized that I'm gonna turn up, I'm gonna get out as quickly as I can, but that's just not for me. So that, that is the moment, you know, when you say a long time ago, so many of those memories will have dimmed, they have. But when you are humiliated, that's something that stays with you for life. And that was one of those really key pivotal moments for me, particularly at school and my approach to schooling the first time around.